Welcome to Linux Tutorials. My name is Weston Gander and today we're going to be showing you how to use git. We're going to be showing you how to use the various functions such as commit, push, and pull, and also some of the other commands that git uses so that you'll be able to use it efficiently. Alright, so first things first, we're, I'm in my test folder, which is my repository that I have made. Now I'm just going to create a file. All right, so I save that file. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to use the command git add readme. This adds files to the list that we are later going to commit. So you can use the command git add readme, and that adds the single file readme or you can also use the command git add dot and this adds all the files in the current folder. Most of the time I use the command git add dot but the command if you're only updating one file it's handy just to use that one command. So either works. So next we are going to use the command git commit dash m and quotes here we're going to use uh, just a message describing this commit. So in mine, I'm going to call it the first commit. All right. Now next, we are going to push the commit we just made to our repository on GitHub. So we use command git push origin master. You're going to enter your username, password. All right, so now we're going to go to our repository on GitHub here. Now, as you can see here, we have the first commit. So click here, and green specifies that we have added this line. This is a readme. So now let's just try adding some more files to show you what it's like. So gedit uh, password. Let's make it a password file. And also, I'm going to edit the README file and show you what this looks like. Save that. Now we're going to do it all over again. Git add dot because we want to add everything that's in this folder. Git commit dash m. We call this one second commit. Added password and changed readme. Alright, and again, git push origin master so username and password again beautiful so now we go back and I'll show you here alright so now we have the second commit so I have added this, these lines here, and I also added a new file here called password. All right. So now let's show you another technique here. So next, I'm going to show you how to make changes to the commit. So I'm going to edit this file here. Gedit password. And I'm going to change it to say this is a. Alright. So, 
we're gonna git add dot git commit dash m slash new commit I'm just gonna call it so now say we've made that commit but we realize that we don't want that commit anymore but we still want to keep the changes that I made to the password file so in this case we are going to use the command git reset dash dash soft head with an upward arrow now this is this removes our commit but keeps our changes to the password file that we recently made all right so just show you so now I'm going to show you another command. Git add dot git commit dash m slash new commit. All right. Now say we've made this commit and we've decided that we do not want this commit and we also want to ch revert back the changes that we made to that password file or any changes since the last commit. So this time we're going to use the command git reset dash dash hard this time head with the upward arrow all right so now we are back to second commit so just to show you I'm going to open up the password file and the changes I made have been uh, replaced with the original text so now you're you're set back to the original commit. We are now going to go to another machine so that we can show you how you're going to transfer this and get those files onto another machine. In my case I'm just going to use another account on this computer but the purposes are all the same. So I'm just going to run the browser. All right. So now that we are on our new computer, we're going to be in our home directory as you can see. And what you're going to do is you're going to enter the command git clone https dot 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 slash github dot com slash danger slash test dot git test is the name of my repository alright so it's going to clone that alright now we're going to do a listing now you can see that it's added the folder test this is perfect so now we're going to go into that folder and now to show you all the files are here now they've been cloned into our new our new uh, repository here. So I am going to make a change on this machine. So I am going to gedit and I'm going to make a new file. All right. And we just do the old command git add dot git commit dash m dash added new file. Alright, and git push master or origin master. If you use SSH, you can actually set it up so you don't have to enter your username and password each time. But that goes outside of this tutorial. Alright, so now that we've made a change there, let's just go to our GitHub account here just to show you. Alright, so we've just added the commit, added new file. And it shows the changes we made. Alright, so now let's go back to our other account
All right. All right, so now we're in our test folder and we have some of these changes that we've already made the change to. So we're going to use the command git pull origin master. All right, and it pulled our files. Now if we show it, we have this new file added. So that is how you propagate files back and forth between the server. Git works, and thank you for watching my tutorial on how to use Git. My name is Weston Ganger, and you guys have a good day.